Hey YouTube, how's it going? Thanks so much for watching Building It Country. Today we are about to leave for the day. We're gonna go to a little family um, fun activity. Um, it's our irrigation festival in our town, so they have like a little kids thing going on. Um, but today we're gonna be showing you our tiny house. It's a tiny cottage. Um, my husband and I have lived here. We're celebrating our five year anniversary this July. Um, I've lived in this cottage since June of 2012. So we have lived in this house cottage for almost five years now. And I kind of was just gonna give you our take on what it's like living in a small house that's 400 square feet um, with a little baby and also running a business. So our house is less than 400 square feet. We've lived in it for almost five years. It can get crazy, it can get really hectic, and a lot of tiny houses nowadays actually have rooms in it, like there'll be like a separate room that's a door that's closed. Mm -hmm. This house is actually open concept, so there's no privacy whatsoever. Actually, when we moved in, the bathroom um, didn't even have a door, I didn't even have a curtain, so for a long time we just had a curtain, and then my husband built a barn door that is absolutely beautiful, it's gorgeous. Um, so we finally have a door on that, um, but it's super teeny. Uh, my husband runs his business on the other side of our house um, with his YouTube channel and then also his landscaping business. And then the other side is our bed where, and then our crib, my daughter's crib, and then the kitchen, and then we have our bathroom sink and whatnot. So it can get super hectic. It is so hard to get my daughter down for a nap. We spend a lot of time at my mom's house. Um, she's got a three bedroom house. Actually you see, it's like a blue house with dormers. You might see it in a couple of videos in the background. Um, but we spend a lot of time there because it can get so claustrophobic over time being in a small space, especially in the winter time. Um, but the nice thing about our house is it's got really, really tall ceilings, lots of windows. So um, when there is sunlight out, there is a lot of sun in the house, which is great. Um, but it's been a struggle getting our daughter to sleep, having any privacy. We don't ever have anybody over. It's just way too small. We don't have a couch. We, When we were just newly married, we actually had our bedroom where my husband's office is now. And then we had a big, huge sectional sofa that took up half of our house. Um, and we ended up selling that before our daughter was born. And every year we always say, oh, we're going to move. We're going to buy a house. Um, but there continues, we've we've put, um, not bids, but we have made offers on houses as well as properties in the past. They've all fallen through. Um, and we just, you know, kind of got that like weird feeling like this isn't right. And so, um, you know, we finally found this piece of property and there's actually a really cool story to this property. Um, I don't know if I want to go into details yet. Maybe I'll save that for another video. But here, let me show you what our cottage looks like from... It's right here. Well, it's the one with the door on it. The one where my car is, that's the garage. That's a 400 square foot garage, but we actually don't rent that. Um, but this um, cottage is my grandparents' rental cottage, and they actually live, here I'll show you. There's their chicken coop, but their house is right up there. It's on, I think, five acres. So we've got a little creek right over here on both sides so you actually enter over a creek and in our backyard we've got um, the Dungeness River which is absolutely beautiful um, so we live in a really great area right now it'll be really sad the day we move because um, my grandparents live up there right across the street my aunt and uncle and cousins live there and then up the road my cousins or one of my cousins now um, lives there with my aunt and uncle and then um, the beginning of our street um, my cousins that are a lot older, they're the same age as my grandparents. They live there and Aria really likes them too. So it'll be sad when we move, but we're only gonna actually be, right now we're about 15 minutes away from my mom. So we are gonna be really close to my mom. We're Literally you could see our property from her house, but it's about a minute away. And the nice thing uh, for my husband is that he's not gonna have to drive on the highway at all anymore. We live right off the highway. And so he's just gonna have city driving, which is gonna be great. Um, and yeah, so this is our little cottage. Um, my house is not clean right now. It's really honestly never clean because I could clean it and five seconds later, my husband and daughter are on the bed jumping because we watch TV on our bed because 
we don't have a couch. We don't even have a dining room table, you guys. I just thought of that. Like, like it's so funny what we think we need when we really don't. Um, we have really learned to live on like limited things. The thing that takes up our most of the house is actually our clothes, which is like the hugest struggle for us. So we're trying to find um, how to beat that struggle. <laughs> Maybe get rid of clothes. But um, yeah, this is our cottage. This is our little house. We've lived here for five years. It's been super fun. It'll be super sad when we move, um, but we need more space. My husband does all his filming in our house too for his YouTube channel. And he needs, he needs a place to film because our whole house ends up being bright in the middle of the night and he stays up till sometimes one in the morning working on his videos because you know he works all day doing landscaping. So um, yeah, overall it's been a great experience living in a tiny house. I think that I might do a, um, a video on what our tiny house looks like. I've actually never seen a house look the layout that this one is like. It's really interesting. Um, so if you guys would like to see what our tiny house looks like, and we've actually taken a lot of decorations, cute decorations out. It used to be so like full of decor. It was cute, but overwhelming. You know what I mean? Um, so if you guys would like to see a video on what our tiny house looks like, I would love to film one. Maybe I will when our channel gets more than uh, one subscriber. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, I will go ahead and do that maybe when I have a weekend to clean my house and we're not busy with all this stuff of building. So thank you so much for watching Building at Country and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.